The Riley and Kimmy Show has found a very good friend to us. That is George Lowe, the voice of Space Ghost. That's that's right, citizens Riley and Kimmy. Notice how I included Kimmy, even though you don't see her. Citizens Riley and Kimmy, they, they saved me from being on a deserted island once, shaved me, took me home, and kept me as a pet. That's true. And we try to find you new gigs. You know that? A new gig. Yeah, we try to find those for you. Oh, man, that'd be exciting. Yeah, I've been thinking maybe one of those game show announcers. That'd be fantastic. Oh, those guys have it sweet. You know, George... Watch that Price is Right guy, oh, that George yeah. Gray guy. Man, that's the money you just, you know, even if you don't like what it is, it's like, it's a pile of depleted uranium. Well, how about... Well, back to you, Drew. How about Johnny Olson? Johnny Olson was great. Johnny had a very operatic way of doing things, didn't he? Uh, you know, Mitch Foonman, come on down. <laughs> Johnny was way up there. And and the guys I always loved were, were my natural range. Right. It was always the, the deeper guys. Like, it's an assortment of used, broken teeth. There you go. Game show people, George Lowe. Now, George acting you know you're an actor right well sort of i don't know i don't know well, i don't know if I, if i can't i mean morgan freeman's an actor i'm not well you, you know, know that's well you know some people are born know, talking a whole other level of stuff going on there well you know some people are born I get bad looks i got although okay. mark singer i saw mark singer a couple weekends ago he actually came up i felt like his dad he came up gave me a kiss on the cheek oh that's it was it was sweet but it was it was weird because i'm like does he know something i don't know am i dying or something well george some people are born for roles like clint eastwood dirty harry right oh, you got it. yeah you got it right the, the, and and all of his stuff is sad now you have to instead of the fun stuff which is what america wants you know look at the car thing what do they call the car thing fast and horny or whatever it is you got the car thing and they get in the car and they drive the car fast and the bad guy usually dies and then eventually when you get eight or nine of them in the can then the bad the bad guy becomes like a friend who drives with them. Don Knotts, Barney Fife, right? Born for it, right? Oh, sure. Right? I think there's a role for you, buddy. He, he's just lead me right. Yeah, that's right. I he, This is called, in, in our business, this is called blindsiding someone who has acquiesced and been pleasant enough to sit down and do whatever crap is on his mind. <laughs> but I'm sitting here, I'm playing along, because don't worry, there will be a payoff. Oh, there will be. Now, George... I think you've been born for a role. The, the payoff is the legions of fans walking away right now. I can hear them out there. That's Since you don't listen daily. Tell your listeners I have one ball. And it's blue. We have been doing a campaign to try to get you to be the new spokesperson for a product. Oh, boy. Here it now, comes, kids. Now, get ready. They brought back the colonel for KFC. Right. We think it's time. It's been a long time. Yep. We think it's time Leading me right for you to be path. Mr. Whipple. Whatever, whatever stupid we idea. We think you should be Mr. Whipple. Hey, this is the good stuff, too. You know, look, see, now wait a minute. Kimmy, can you zoom in? Because first off, look right there. You always have success with a product when you put a cute animated creature in it. And here we have pictured the toilet bears. No. The, the toilet we bears. want you to be Mr. Whipple. But he was always squeezing the Sherman. Come on, let's see because how... Because it was so squeezable. Come on, soft. come on. Give us some squeezing here. Well, wait a minute. Watch me wipe up the competition with this. Hey, you know, that's a solid roll of toilet paper. You know, do you know your line? Don't squeeze the Charmin. Yeah, please don't squeeze the Charmin, even, even though it's so tempting. Mr. Whipple, don't squeeze the Charmin. I don't know why he thought this would be the thing for me, because be. now when people go, if I get the gig, you know what's going to happen? What? Every time somebody's got to go have corn babies, they're going to think about me squeezing the, the short. That is really, you've really got to lay squeezing? into this like thing. That? It's Look No, it's this. not just that. He's perfect. It's a solid roll of paper. He, there, come here a second. You, you there, come over here. Squeeze that real quick. That's that. a solid damn roll of toilet paper, isn't it? I agree. That's, wow. thank, thank you for playing our game. Mr. Yeah. Whipple, you are. I well, found the new Mr. This Whipple. Is the equivalent of 16 rolls. This is or the one new Mr. At your Whipple. House. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so please help. Not a good cook. You <laughs> see what I did there, folks? Humor, Mr. Whipple. We found him. This we, was your whole idea. I think you're the this new is Mr. Whipple. How you're going to help my career. I think this will work. I'm going to help your career now. Now please. 
<laughs> write, write the manufacturer of Charmin. Yeah. Say you want George Lowe as the new Mr. Whipple. Hey, wait a minute. They put it in French, too. Irresistiblement. Irresistiblement. De. Je te l'ai moi. Which, which means, you know, it'll even clean up French food. So you got some, you got some French food hanging on that you can't get rid of. This, this is the stuff. Maybe they'll run him in France. Pa- Charmin, he's multi-international. Oh. Ne, ne pas de Scots. <laughs> ne pas de Scots. Oh, supreme. Supreme. How do you say wiping in French? I don't know. Well, that might be it right there. Sure. Now... You tell us a, you tell so us a. We will put the contact information for Charmin no. on this video. Please, please write to them for you know to get I, George I, I as the new Russia. person for Charmin. Fantastic! And think of Charmin. Think of George Lowe. This is a chance to help a legendary talent, a legendary talent, George Lowe, the new Mr. Whipple. Now, Dick Wilson was the original Mr. Whipple. We're, we're not trying to, you know, take anything away from him. He was the master. But George will be the fantastic new 21st century Mr. Whipple. Available. George is also available for your grocery store, your supermarket, and your convenience store. Links to his bookings are available on our website at RileyandKimmy.com. Just think about it. Stop and go. If you sell Charmin, you could have George Lowe. 7-Eleven. If you sell Charmin, you could have George Lowe. I'm looking for George Lowe cutouts, too, Charmin. It'll be great. He'll be able to be right there with your Charmin. Thank you for watching this. Please, right here, follow the, uh, the address to Charmin. Write to them. Say, we want George Lowe as Mr. Whipple.